Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Rise of Nations, All Belongs to Mother Russia. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. So I've decided what our next move shall be. It will be to attack the Turks. One, they have the Colossus Wonder, which is really nice. Uh, two, they have three rare resources. Wood, iron, food, knowledge, and knowledge, wood. Considering that would get us 20 wood, that's important. It also got us, you know, 10 more food, which is always nice. And 20 more knowledge. That's really all I care about. These are good income stuff. So, since our opponent would have no reinforcements in this location, I'm thinking that that's our best shot, really. I mean, Anatolia will be rough to attack into. Don't get me wrong, but... It's not entirely imp impossible. We don't really need the Chinese as a fealty here. I played everything I had for that Chinese battle. <clears throat> with the Forbidden City wonder there, it really made things harder since they basically start with an extra city. Uh, and have an extra city cap. Percent of two capitals. So, the enemies played the Egyptians' oath of. Oh, fuck. Well, fuck. Okay. He's pulled the Egyptian's Oath of Fealty on me. One of the better ones. For anyone unaware, the Egyptian's Oath of Fealty is the one that makes you produce lots of food. And when I say lots, I mean probably a 50% general boost to food. So, that's impressive. It's a way to make things tricky. It also means he builds wonders faster, but uh, that's not applicable in this game mode, so... I don't really care about that part. But yeah, it's basically, here, have all the food you will ever need. Uh, you can have up to seven farms per town, if you have the power of the Nile. And, in addition, food is, goes up by 30% anyway. Cool, so we have the Cossacks. Right off the freaking bat, I love it. Alright. I need more citizenry, we're gonna need to start building stuff. Immediately, we're gonna found a second town. Can... No, I should probably be aggressive in how I do this. I can build the lumber camps now. I know this. I can build lumber camps anywhere. Ooh, fishery. So what I should do... Here's what I hate about auto-explore. For those of the people wondering why I don't use it. It seems to make me think I care about uh, the insides of my national borders, which I really don't. Okay. He's already changing his government to despotism and shit. That's fine. I'm just debating where I want to set up a second city. I think I want to set it up on the coast, honestly. Yeah. Why not? Because then I can build docks there. I don't know if docks are similarly something I can put anywhere I want. Acquire that ruin. Fine, we'll turn on auto explore. Ugh. Fine, I guess we can explore the insides of our territory. Even though the most thing we'll find there is some strategic resources, which I'm not really too worried about. Oh well. That's Polish. That's strange. I don't even own Eastern Europe. <laughs> I, I, would have, I would say that would be fine uh, if I owned Eastern Europe. Um, fishing dock. This is, I guess that's a military building. Ah, it requires one commerce that liberates, right. Speaking of which, get started on everything. We're just building vil like, What is this, Eastern European cities? That I don't actually have access to? Alright. In the meantime, get to work. I do have the confidence cap, which is... Boost, which is nice. Alright. This city will definitely be needing a granary. Because I'll be putting fishing here. Food commons cap reached, sounds about right. Alright. Yeah, we definitely need more people on the uh, woodcutting side of things here. Okay, we'll set up a woodcutter's camp here. I think seven citizens, that's it. Damn. I was hoping for something better. Eh, we'll take it. 
Seven citizens it will be. Build that. Do I, uh, I heard a shot. Do I have... Oh, yeah, I do have a dragoon. You are not an explorer then, since cavalry are so fast. They can scout pretty good. Alright. So, we're going to research level 2 commerce right away, because we need the increased cap if we're going to pull anything off here. So we need five more there. No, that's five, very good. Uh, we'll train two more citizens over here to make farms in Vilna. Very good. Sulfur, diamonds, that's all fine. Salt, that's useful. Cost of barracks troops reduction, not bad. Yeah, we should get papyrus as well. I should probably move into building a market. market would be kind of useful. Alright, so we've got ourselves a decent amount of setup here. Alright. Farm here. I've heard of you guys didn't die, but... Yeah, Trishan's gonna kill him. That's why I don't normally want to explore enemy territory with cavalry, but... I noticed that way too... Way too long ago, I'm afraid. Alright. Let's get military too, since we're desperately in need of that. Alright. <clears throat> also, seriously, could use a third city. So now that that's done, build a dock, please, or anchorage, whatever you want to call it in Sierra. Alright. This looks like. Is this really Constantinople we're attacking? Like, if there's a bunch of water over here and it's really just thin and it gets thick on each side, it's like, okay, so this is the boss first, great. <laughs> or boss first analog, rather. Okay, we're about to be attacked. Good to know. You guys, congratulations, you have a new job. The construction of this keep is immediate and requiring. Bitch, did I stutter? Also, they're... Okay, yeah, they do have... I was about to say, they had better have brought supplies. They didn't. <laughs> so assuming we can even get a single keep up, we'll be fine. Alright. Now I need to remember how fishing works in this game. Can we build a fisherman? That's all I remember so far. gonna build the fifth farm here. Congratulations. Alright. Now there's a spot out here somewhere where we should be able to fish, if I remember right. I don't know. I've forgotten how fishing works. Ah, yeah. Here we go. Like a merchant, they deploy. Which gets you money and food. We need level 2 science ASAP, since we already have Papyrus set up, which is great. Try and get a hold of this. An extra bit of food and wood doesn't hurt. Let's research colonialism. You'll notice the tech names have actually changed since we're in the Gunpowder Rage now. It's a ni nice little uh, thing. There's seven techs for each age, really. Alright, well, the point now is we can put the gun down this granary. Because now we have fishermen who operate out of this dock, so a granary here should mean that we get additional stuff. Get a merchant going to there. Salt's real nice. I don't know why salt would provide metal. 
Um, <clears throat> my eyes are going to produce more food because you have to salt meat so it doesn't go bad and stuff, right? <clears throat> Probably just game balance purposes. Ugh. I apologize, Alfred, excuse me. So, yeah, we need to scout out this lake, I suppose. More fish. Rare food results, yep. Very good. We're well capped into that, so I'm gonna boost that again. Alright. When this granary is done, I'm gonna pop down a temple probably. Yes, a temple. Fall back. Oh wow, they do have bombards. I don't have anything to stop that. That's a bit of a problem. If we don't kill that supply wagon, we're cooked. Alright, supply wagon down. It also means that their artillery is now out of supply, so. Sucks to be them. However, those bombards are literally raping us in terms of the defenses. The defenses will not hold against the bombards, but. Time is on our side. For now. Every second waited is a second more damage they take. Yeah, he's already got Monarchy going. No surprise. I need to get our Senate up and running. Alright, you. Alright, they're gonna try and bombard that in this mission, which isn't gonna work very well. I'd like to point out. Work quite terribly for them. Okay, so we need to start military production, if that wasn't obvious enough. He's got Janissaries, so we're completely outmatched against them. But now, the only thing remaining are cannons. So it'd be impressive for them to actually capture the city. <laughs> We need to get our Cossacks up and running. What do we need right now? Scientific method. Make everything else cheaper. Alright, so we get the Cossacks and eventually the Dawn Cossacks. These are the most deadly things we will have. Carbiner and Corsairs. No. Russia has good light cavalry. Alright. So, let's see. Mounted troops created faster. Line of sight increased. You see a fast from ghosts on inside buildings. Yeah, this thing improves fishing. So, since that's, an, that's a ton of extra food right there that we can get. Just, uh, co-sack it up here. Herbal lore will be important. I'll put that. Yep, fishermen collect extra, so it's plus 15 food now. Yeah, strong versus ranged, cavalry, light infantry. Weak versus heavy infantry and buildings. I suppose heavy knights are strong, yeah, strong versus archers. These guys are okay versus archers, I guess. Alright. So everything's okay for now. For now. Where's that citizen go anyway? There he is. Okay. I wouldn't mind additional keeps, though. He's shown his tendency to attack this area, so... We shall go with that, then. Also, didn't I build... Yes, I did. Now I want the Senate here. Get to work. Already, he's in the Enlightenment Age. No surprise. I'm not too worried about it. Once we get Don Cossacks, he'll be shitting himself. You know, you guys might as well garrison. You too. They heal that way. And, you know, garrison power. Might as well just stick them in there and forget them for a while, I guess. 
I'm gonna try and see if we can't get some more fish going, because fish also produces wealth, so... It's actually a very important upgrade. Medicine. This is very good for mountain troops. Especially, you know, line of sight increases in things. Very important. Alright. Patriotism. Increase attrition damage in your territory. Level 3. Yeah, I never actually have to research those things. <laughs> Minutemen. Upgrade all militia. Upgrade militia armed with muskets. Citizens can become Minutemen using their two arms button. Oh, yeah. Alright, you can turn uh, peasants into fighting forces when needed. Alright, hammer out that keep as well. Alright. So the Senate's done. That means we're going to need the Siege Workshop here. I'm doing pretty good on two cities. Uh, I probably am going to need a third one soon, though. I built the temple, right? Good. And get taxation. Taxation should up our uh, income. Decent amount. There you go. Yep, up to 69, baby. Alright, so that's good. Uncovered. Whales. Haha. -ha. There you go. Alright. Quite a fishing fleet going here. I like it. But yeah, with this many Cossacks. Especially if we can get up to Dawn Cossacks. That'd be great. We're closing in on it. I mean, we just need the Enlightenment Age and level 4 military tech, which we'll be able to get easy here. Civics 3. So we get Vassalage now, which improves their income further. Alright. Cool. There. So we can now enter the Enlightenment Age, which is great. Alright. Now we're gonna save up for uh, Military 4, which is much cheaper, thankfully. Oh yeah, we can build caravans to get wealth, that's right. And we only we actually only need one with only one city. <laughs> Never mind. Alright. So the two of you are gonna come over here. Found a new city. I want to put it here, but there's freaking rocks in the way. I guess here. Because there's a choke point here if they come through that there. So now we have the stockades, which are stronger defensive turrets. There you go. Now we need two more merchants. No, wait. We don't need merchants. Sorry. We need two more caravans. That wasn't going to last long. So anyway, it's going to be a couple minutes before we can begin researching uh, level 4 military for Dawn Cossacks, but that's okay. Yeah, what are we, fighting with, like, Poland, Lithuania here? God damn. Last time I checked, these are all Polish and Lithuanian city names. Funny part is I only know that because I play Paradox games. <laughs> Uh, Paradox games have taught me more geography than I care to admit. Oh well. Okay. There we are. Farm set up. Looks like they just found a new city. Where are you headed? Oh, you're set to go to the salt mine. Alright, that's the last place I put the market. Alright, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Establishing the new route, that's fine. Get to work on that. Alright, again, I'm gonna continue the construction of more stockades. It's something to spend metal on anyway. We need to be able to defend ourselves good. These guys here just to take out supply wagons and, if possible, bombards. I do try and avoid, you know, 
but we should try and get that whenever we can. I really should probably just build a research building. My lazy, get off my lazy ass. Yeah, university would be good. Okay. Mm, I love this music. What did you do that for? Like, you're supposed to be building that, and then you build that. And you... You will build the university. And then you will build another temple. The reason that you want a temple in both cities is because it increases the national borders. So we can push back a little here. Remember, the more we control, the better. Since we're Russia, we control whatever we please. Alright. Research level 4. But yeah, I definitely have the income to support a freaking university. I've just been being a lazy person about it until now. Seven, and research literacy following that. 220 food caps still. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Senate. I never did get that. Oh yes, and we can get socialism now. Oh no, wait, we need the industrial age for that, don't we? Right. Can we get the industrial age? No, there's no fucking way. Yeah, okay, we can't. I was gonna say, there's no way we can get the industrial age yet. Republic improves our cap further. There we go. So now we're getting 270 food. Very important. Uh oh. Alright, we're being flanked in Kursk. And it appears they decided to bring the supplies. Okay. Two can play this game. You want flankage? I'll give you flankage. what the Cossacks are for. Oh shit, we're supposed to have Don Cossacks right the fuck now. Search the Don Cossack. We'll still win this easy hands down. Uh, if you guys check out these supply wagons, we can win even faster. There we go. Yeah, Turkey is, or the Turks are easily going to fall. Remember, the one thing that's relatively speaking the same between us is our population limit. Our economy might be completely shitty and different, but by all accounts, our population should be roughly equal. All right, they have a general who's cloaking their troops somewhere around here. They probably did that as they retreated. All right, well, we held. That's what's important. Civics 4 is next. That gives us increased attrition. This is, I really wish there was a way just to select wounded. Ah, good. The Terracotta Army reinforcement is here. And now we have Dawn Cossacks. Lol. Garrison. What's the harm key for that? G, yeah, I figured. Can mounted units garrison? Okay, they can. Just check. I've had some trouble with that in the past. Anyone who's yellow is getting garrisoned. Don't worry about it later. Garrison up to 15 units, so. Alright then. If there's no other objections, a fortress of sorts would be nice. Yeah, up here's where we'd want a fortress, because that will uh, secure that sulfur for us and prop maybe the diamonds. Maybe, it's hard to tell. Russian borders are good, but hard to say. Nationalism. Increased attrition in your territory, level 4. <laughs> I get those researches for free, it's glory. Whoa, really? Wait, seriously? There's a fucking city right here? Well, it's gonna be ours soon enough. Alright then. More flankage, eh? Move in. Use this time. You don't have siege weapons, though. All right. Well, they're fighting in range of a tower. It's not the wisest thing they're doing. And also, there's no more Don Cossacks. Also, eject all, and they'll move up here to help the battle. There. 
Supply caravan's down. Eat attrition. We have level 3 attrition now, so it's really hurting them. And their troops run off cloaked like cowards. I never did get around to researching this. Stable units 25% cheaper and you build even faster. 100 oil income. Yeah. Factory air base and dock units are cheaper. Capitalism, plus 100 oil. They won that fight, just barely. Good luck. And everything's dead now. They are after Kursk badly, though. Alright, my Cossack. Congratulations, you're scouting. Yeah, Antioch is quite literally right there. Okay. Alright, we need cannons. Cannons will be important. We have a supply cart, and we have the Terracotta Army, don't we? Somewhere? Where the hell did the Terracotta Army end up? Nearly right by there. You guys couldn't see them properly. There we go. Get you guys. Cannons would be nice. Let's get our monarch over here. But first, I'm gonna make a cut here. We've uh, done pretty good. I've managed to hold off the Turks until uh, later in the game, which was basically my main thing that I had to be sure to do at any cost. And the reason for that is just because it's much easier to e even things out. Yep. That went terrible for you, huh? Oh, merchants don't take attrition. Interesting. I thought they would. Anyway, voting rights at 1,200. Again, I'm rushing civic because I am motherfucking Russia. Double attrition. And increased land borders. So civic is really, really good for me. Alright. So we're going to capture Antioch for ourselves. Not too bad they don't. You're having some trouble there, aren't you? Uh, I'll we'll move everyone over here. It's not. Let's keep you here. I'm hoping you guys should have arranged without having to go into their territory. Eh. That's good enough. Get the Cossacks up. Start bombarding. New defensive formation here. Apparently, I need to set your stance. Defensive. Just remember to do that. That way you don't run off and do stupid, really stupid things. Reduced. It's reduced. Antioch shall be ours. Lunda. Let's go to metal. And now we slaughter everyone. Barely even a reaction of the Turks. There's their leader. Slay the monarch. Not really. Doesn't matter. Slaughter any civilians we come across, though. That's pretty good. They want to engage me in a fight? That's fine. 1100. Almost there. Yeah, they don't stand much of a chance here. They really do not. Alright. Very good. Research level 6 here. Ah, they have a fortress there. That's going to be tricky to siege through, but we'll see what we can do. Carpenters, yeah. Very good. Alright, let's move the rest of our shit up here. Good. Let's stay back though. We don't we haven't even assimilated this city. But yes, we've we're doing good damage to them. That's what's important. 
Now, will you guys sit back? You, however, I need you to go over there. Research carboners, because they're kind of useful. Alright. Pretty good now. So we have, you know, final level of nutrition, if I'm not mistaken. Do we? Oh, oh nationalism requires the modern age. Right. Alright. Whatever. Doesn't matter. This means more area for us to nutrition in. I mean, this woodcutter's camp's been burning down for a while. It's unusable. The citizens are all dying. citizen working in the woodcutter camp. Cool. Assimilating. There. Alright, we can definitely see just the fortress now. Alright, they're gonna come back. Round two. I will oblige them in their silly quest for a fight. Anyway, the reason I like carpenters is because they cost wood, but not food. Means if I happen to run out of one, I can swap over to the other for a little while. They're not quite, you know, Don Cossacks, but they're okay. It's mostly just resource usage that way. Alright, so the enemy just threw everything he had and died. That's what I like to see. Yeah, I should have no problem getting into the formation there. Let's make sure that if we have to go anywhere, the supply wagons keep flowing. Make sure we keep the supply wagons flowing. Keep the assault up. I really would prefer it if you guys didn't chase them past the fortress, though. That would be really nice. You know what? Congratulations, you're on scout duty. Alright, well, we found another one of their cities at the least. Alright, so that fort needs to be taken down. They're gonna try and stop our artillery from doing such things. But that shall not occur. Hopefully some of the cannons survive. We only need one more cannon barrage and we're fine. Done. Alright, and that throws them into our territory. Nobody likes being in Russian territory. Kill that monarch. And that's supply wagon. Done. Yeah, just four, four damage every second. Because fuck you. Alright. Very good. Well, you're not allowed to have those diamonds. What the hell? Target's out of range. Yeah, apparently. Uh, our fishing has come to an end. What is this? A sloop. Light ships. Strong versus buildings, weak versus ships, strong versus heavy ships, strong versus light ships. Okay, so that's the one I want to create. Go to a man of war pretty quick. No, yeah, that, that's not the market at all. Crop rotation would be nice. Merchant. Yeah, the merchant on that salt now. God damn it, these baits. Fall back. It's a tarp, don't you see? And now they're gonna take out my remaining siege implements. Or we're gonna try to at least. Not working out so well for them though. Speaking of which, I need more siege implements. Time to get a new Don Gozak production. They actually outnumber us right now, which is slightly troubling, but we have attrition on our side, so we'll Which citizen here would be nice. What we need.
need here is a temple. City walls. The acquisition of a temple would be the best thing. Antioch's getting fallen under attack, that's fine. Oh, hey. Cloaked units. Who'd have thunk? Unlike the AI, I don't tend to go too much for the bombards. I mean, they've reduced the city, good for them. That lot of good that does them, though. Kill any supply wagons that there are. Also with the civic research. Acquire that. Make sure to take out that damn supply wagon. And that's going to force them to bleed out the remaining troops. Very good. Alright. Very good. Existentialism. Aha. Uh -huh. We're about to take over this uh, mine here. <laughs> Water pushing. All right, so if we do need lumber, we'll just buy lumber. That timber is something we should be selling. Yeah, I guess he's using uh, those things. They cost a lot of wood. The market is weirdly like shared between everyone, so not really weirdly at all, actually. Probably most ideal way to do it. If everyone needs the same thing, the price is insane. If your opponent needs something, I have six thousand gold. Why the fuck do I care? What the hell uh, is on the market? Fuck market prices. I'll buy tons of wood. I have no problem with this. Just get me more Cossacks. Monarch. Another hundred wealth. That's nice. Alright. And we need income tax. The last one. That's, we've already capped out our wealth income just from taxation here. Yeah, we own most of the map. This is because we're fucking Russia. That's... Help him out. So don't, you know, feel free to uh, help out. Shoot. There's a general around here, because I think I saw some dudes disappear. And they decided for the wise course of action to retreat. Alright. So, militarily. That would be where you want to drop for it. Okay. Jesus Christ, you bring in a fucking supply lines for the fight? I think the answer is yes. It's supposed to be my artillery's job, actually, to try and take it supply wagon so I can. No, actually, I mean, I won't want to. Lost a tiny bit of metal. That's okay. Rally. But yeah, we took out his mind at the very least. We need our light cavalry destroys supply wagons, remember, because we have that Russian bonus. Very important. Alright. Ooh. Got it. Did I end this? I didn't reset my timer. I hope to god I ended this episode at some point, or ended the last episode, hopefully, at some point. What the hell? There's a single bombard hitting the fortress over there. We should do something about that. Yeah, they have cursey owls. Kinda what you'd expect. They're fucking heavy knights. Uh 
Uh oh. Retreat. In all seriousness, though, we need to fall back. The tur I think they can outproduce me or some shit. I don't know. Still, we're producing them as quick as we can. Yeah, fall back to Antioch. We're just gonna fall back for now. We've got things in a pretty decent shape. I'm okay with how things are. I mean, it's obviously not over yet. I'm trying to think what we could do. Did, okay, yeah. Man of War won out. I figured they would. I need to increase my resource cap if I'm going to keep up. That's really probably what's getting to me. Uh, would you guys garrison, please? Really, you don't give any garrison strength? going to drop six citizens in Antioch so that way they can help fight. Alright. Congratulations. You have a new job. We need to get this military fort up if we can. Like in all seriousness, that kind of, that fort would be huge. Getting it operational that we can basically siege Korum with impunity. So, other things we're going to need, siege implements. Siege implements. I have that siege workshop back here. We only need a couple of them. Let's get, say, four more cannons and a supply wagon. Here. Yeah, we, we got a decent setup now. Keep researching stuff as best we can. Cost money, so we got plenty of it. Yep. Okay, that's gonna do it for today, though. Looks like we're prepped to. Ah, hey, there we are. We've explored the whole map. That's really their last two cities, huh? No, there's gotta be another one. Just hidden in the fog of war or something, I don't know. But yeah, I think we're attacking uh, the Bosphorus crossing or something here. Interesting. Another fisherman. Lots of fish we can get out here. Okay. So, science completely researched. We have metal, so might as well research all the military tech. Commerce cap reached. In that case, up that. What text do we need to research the next stuff here? Food industry. Pharmaceuticals requires the industrial age. Alright. So yeah, we now can pretty much get up to Corum without any issue at all here. They have a stable and a barracks there, so what I'm thinking is flanking. So move our guys around here. Okay. We're just gonna have to start cutting his military production. Down to size. Nope, you guys will remain behind the cannons. This should force them out into the open. Into attacking me while I'm in formation, so not wise. That's not for him. I'm gonna keep upping the commerce limit, since somehow we always manage to be at maximum food. Alright, here it comes. The carbon is up to attack. Alright, so we leveled the stable. That's going to reduce his ability to build cavalry. 
Alright, let's get our reinforcements over here. Let's not follow him that hard. They can't flank around here because we have a fort in the way. Now flank them. Fighting under Corum, though, not the best place. They have supply wagons, but it doesn't matter. The fight's too close to the border for it to really matter. Let's do that. Try and get supply wagons up here, will ya? It's hard to get any tell of their military power, though. Alright, and another barracks bites the dust. Good job. Get out of there now. Alright, so that hurts his military production. It's two military facilities down. Alright. Citizens. Retreat. I want a pair of stockades built there right away. Go. We need to be able to cover that flank. Fortress is working pretty good. Alright, so they have siege factory and stables there. That's what I like to see. Exposed and vulnerable. Actually, you two. I'm going to do a stockade here. This will uh, force the combat to be along here, since we can't be flanked. That's what I'm using the defense buildings for. Alright, so I'm going to be ending this episode here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Gilvin, signing off.